welcome to the Rip Puzzle channel. Today I will be showing you step-by-step -step instructions on how to put together the Be Puzzled original 3D crystal puzzle, Pegasus. Now this puzzle actually has four options. You can either make it the stallion, winged unicorn, Pegasus, or unicorn. Just depends on what pieces you use at certain points. So I will be showing you what pieces you can use to get the desired look you are trying to finish. Also, all the pieces are numbered, so I will be telling you the piece number and displaying it in the corner, and then showing you where it goes on the puzzle. Hopefully, by the end of the video, we'll have gotten it together for you. Alright, let's get started. Okay, go start with your first piece here. Piece number 55. This is the end. Next piece is piece 69, and all you're going to do is slide that into place. Just like that. Next piece is piece number 74. And with the number facing downward, going to connect at the left. The next piece is piece number 72. And with the number side facing downward, it's going to connect to the top right. Next piece piece number 56 with the number facing upward it's going to connect at the top left and next you're going to take this leg it doesn't appear to have a piece number on it but it's the back what would be the left leg and this is just going to go slide into place right here just like that next piece is piece number 61 and with the number facing upward it's going to connect on the left next piece is piece number 53 with the number facing downward it's going to connect at the bottom. Next is piece number 68 and with the number facing upward it's going to connect at the top. Next piece is going to be the one that would end up being the back right leg it has a little notch sticking out right here and it's just going to go slide into place right here next piece is piece number 52 with the number facing upward it's going to connect on the right Next piece is piece number 63 with the number facing downward. It's going to connect on the left. Next piece is piece number 51 with the number facing upward. It's going to connect on the left. Next piece piece number 58 with the number facing downward it's going to connect on the bottom next piece piece number 64 
with the number facing downward. It's going to connect at the top right. Next piece is piece number 70 with the number facing downward. It's going to connect on the right. Piece number 77 with the number facing downward. It's going to connect on the top. Piece number 73, with the number facing downward, it's going to connect on the left. Your piece number 66, with the number facing downward, it's going to connect on top left. And the next piece is piece number 65 the number facing upward. It's going to connect on the top. Next piece is piece number 59 with the number facing downward. It's going to connect on the bottom right. For your next piece, it'll be one of two pieces. So if you want the wings, you are going to grab piece number 81. If you want no wings, it'll be piece 75. And with the number facing down for 75, it's going to go at the top left, but we are going to make it with wings. So with the number facing upward, it's going to connect to the top left, same spot. There's an indent for where the wings will go. And you're just going to take them. And this wing will be the one that ends up going on the right. And you're just going to slide into that little notch there. And push it all the way down into place. The next wing will be the one that ends up going on the left side. And we'll put it on the right here. So the wings will end up looking like this, holding outward. Next piece is piece number 60. With the number facing downward, it's going to connect on the right side. Next piece is piece number 76. With the number facing upward, it's going to connect the bottom left. Then you're going to take the bigger pole and slide it through the bottom hole right there. And then you're going to take your key and tighten it. A few clicks and it'll be good. If you tighten it any more than that, you could break your puzzle. Next is piece number 67. With the number facing downward, it's going to connect the top left. Okay, your next piece is going to be piece number 54. With the number facing downward, it's going to connect 
bottom left. Next piece is piece number 78. The number facing downward, it's going to connect bottom right. Next piece is going to be what will end up being the front left leg. You're going to put, connect it right here on the right side. The next piece is piece number 71. With the number facing upward, it's going to go on the bottom left. Next is this leg, It'll end up being the front right leg. I'm going to put it right down here on the left side. Next piece is piece number 57. The number facing upward is going to connect along the top. You're going to take the small pole and put it right there and tighten it. Couple clicks, that's good. And piece number 62. I'm going to line up the two parts sticking out here. With the number facing downward, you're just going to slide it into place. And we're going to take the tail and slide it into the hole back there. Just like that. Go set it down for now. I'll take piece number 79 and piece 80. You're just going to line up the holes with the parts sticking out and push it into place. And this side with the little indent right there, it's just going to slide into place, just like that. Next you have two options again. This is the normal horse head. There's no hole right there. And this one is what you would use for the unicorn and the winged unicorn. We're going to take that one and use it. And it's just going to slide into place. Just like that. And then you take the horn. And it's going to go right into there. And you have the stand. And that's it. So this is how it should look when it's finished. If you have any suggestions of what I should put together next time, let me know in the comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.